My hair is back in a top knot, which kind of makes it look like I'm bald, but we're gonna go with it. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Thursday. I feel like I have not sat down and done a video like this in eight years and that's actually because I haven't done it in four months. So here we are, Riley, back at it again, fixing my own mistakes. But yes, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about doing a favorites video. I have missed favorites videos from February up until June and I thought, June, here we are. It's going to be the end of June. Why not compile them all into a spring season favorites. So that is what we are going to do today my friends. If you don't know how a favorites video works basically it's me listing off a bunch of stuff in a different category that I have loved in this case over the past four months. I've usually been pretty good about doing them monthly but then I stopped for some reason and then like didn't plan for them so here we are today. Also I just noticed that my face looks really fat when I have my hair back but like whatever. The first thing I have on my favorites list is music. These last couple months have honestly been about total music discovery and if you guys don't know I went to go see Troy Sivan's concert in February which is the first month I slacked on favorites videos and opening for Troy was a band called Laney now I've heard of Laney before this but I never really listened to them but then they played a song called ILYSB standing for I love you so bad on stage at Troy and it was phenomenal. Like I honestly fell in love with the song and then I fell in love with them and I've just been listening to it a lot in IOISB, especially the stripped version of it is so amazing. The next song I have on here is actually used by beauty gurus a lot. It is Roses by the Chainsmokers featuring Roses I think, but it's very good. I really like it. It's just like a good like riding in the car, blasting music kind of song. And the last thing for favorite music is actually a band that my friend Leo, a sleepy artist on YouTube, has introduced me to, and they're called The Front Bottoms. Leo describes it as stoner music, but I don't really care because I really, really thoroughly enjoy it. And my favorite songs by them right now are Swimming Pool and Plastic Flowers. Definitely worth checking them out. Now on to my movies, TV shows proportion. I only have one this favorites video, and it is my good old classic. If you follow me on social media, you know I'm kind of obsessed with Supernatural. I'm still a couple episodes behind on the most recent season, but I am catching up. I'm getting there, and it's just so good. It reminded me why I fell in love with it in the first place. And just plot and subtext and oh man, oh love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So good. Favorite show. That's all there's to be said if you don't watch Supernatural. And if you're into stuff like Criminal Minds, this is kind of like undercover criminal minds but with like monsters but not like cheesy stuff with monsters like it's really kind of like hardcore but also really cool and it's just you'll just have to watch it to find out you have to get past the first couple episodes and then you'll be hooked next in my favorites is books and this month's favorite book I am almost done with it is Girl Online by Zoe Sugg if you watched my video in April of when I went to playlist live you would have seen this book because this is where I bought it and I haven't gotten a chance to finish it yet because I've been doing a load of work stuff but so far, it's really good. I know I read a lot of bad reviews on it before I bought it, but that's from like older women reading these books and obviously Zoe Sugg didn't intend that to be the audience. She definitely intended it to be teenage readers and as someone who is a sucker for cliche teenage romance books, I was honestly the perfect fit for this book. And if you don't like that kind of stuff, you're probably not gonna like this book, but if you love like John Green and stuff, this book is good. And it also touches on like the topics of anxiety and panic attacks because I know that's something that Zoe deals with and she translated it into her book really, really well. Next is products. This favorites, I have really been enjoying makeup, makeup in general, I'm loving it. I'm actually wearing a full face today. I did it all before I filmed this video so I want to look like a pizza face because that's what I look like right now. But I'm loving it. I'm loving wearing makeup and I'm learning how to like contour and do all that like good fancy stuff which is very fun and Mickey is very proud of me. But yeah, loving it, loving it a lot. The next thing in my product section is actually two pairs of shoes. First off are these old checkered vans that are neon green and then white and navy blue checkers. I got these on sale at a Journeys like two and a half years ago and now they don't make them anymore and I'm really glad I have them because I get a lot of compliments on them when I wear them. They also have um, foot pads in the bottom of them because I am an old man. The second pair of shoes you probably would have seen in my playlist live Florida haul video or whatever and it is these pair of white FUBU tennis shoes. 
I love these a lot. They're super comfortable, like the, the cliche dad shoe. It's exactly what I wanted from them, and I love it. I made sure to wear this shirt today for this video. The next thing on my shirt is the Bent Apparel. I am not your dad. And I'm actually filming this on Father's Day, so I thought this would be a really good shirt to wear today. I got quite a few compliments on it. But you can get it at Chris Clemens' store, which is the Bent Apparel on District Lines, and I love it. It's like, first of all, super comfy, and also like, very my aesthetic. The next thing under the product section is this sea salt spray. I have been using it in my hair for several months, and sea salt spray in general is just really, really good for me. It's a great way for me to texturize my hair without making it like gross and like stiff and all that and it still looks really good. Obviously you can't see today because I have stuff up in a top knot but I'm sure if you look in my other videos and the videos to come you will definitely see my hair with sea salt spray in it. Next on to the random section of my favorites. First of all is my whiteboard wall that I got painted in the beginning of February. It's over there and it's great and it's also magnetic. My wall is like magnetic and whiteboard now so you can go get that and it's pretty cool and now I can just write whatever I want on it. Two. Playlist Live. I went to Playlist Live in April and it was freaking amazing. I loved it. I had so much fun. I met so many of my good friends from online there at Playlist. I got to do some great business stuff and it was just an overall amazing time. So will I be going next year? The answer is yes. The next thing is this Twitter that I came across and they put me in their famous trans guys thread. What? It's the at trans boy posts Twitter. Their name on there is Common Trans Boy. They are honestly great. Honestly, they're so amazing. All the mods that run it are super sweet, and it's just like a load of positivity for trans masculine people. And I think that's really great because I feel like trans masculine people don't get that a lot. And the last thing on my favorites for this season is this candle. This candle is a lemon frosted scone. It's a Root Legacy brand candle, and Oh my god, it smells like heaven. It smells like sugary lemon, if that makes sense. Like, kind of like lemon meringue pie, but like not as sour. Definitely lemon frosted scone gets it to the point. It, oh my god. <laughs> like, it's so good. It's such a good smelling candle. And it's also like not intense when it's burning, but you can still smell it, but it's not like overwhelming, which is really nice. That is all I have for my spring season favorites, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave it down below. What are some of your favorites that you've had the last couple months? I look forward to reading those comments and replying to some of them. I love interacting with you guys down there, so please, please comment, please. If you want to keep in touch with me in real time, you can be sure to follow me on all of my social medias, which is at the Riley Kyle on literally any platform. If you search it on a platform and it's not there, that means I don't have that platform, which means you need to get on my butt about getting on that platform. Otherwise, all of my other stuff is the Riley Kyle, and you can find me there. I'm also doing a lot with my side channel and collab channel currently, so you can find those links below. I post at least once a week on my side channel, and once a week on quite the collab on Wednesdays, which means I just had a video go up yesterday. Guys, go watch. But yes, that's all I have. Here's my cliche favorites videos coming back into the market for you guys. I'm quite excited. I really enjoy doing favorites videos. I get that it can be annoying, but like, whatever. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys. I'll see you on Tuesday. Okay, bye!